Hi, Sindra here, High Performance Coach, and today we're talking about the third trait of high performers, which is they master their thinking patterns. So I have a few questions for you. Have you ever wondered how to deal with that voice inside your head? Have you ever worried for no reason at all? And you, have you ever had dreams that were so scary, but they were so scary you didn't go after them? And my guess is that you said yes to maybe one or all of these questions because this is part of the human experience. And I can tell you that your thoughts are the most important factor for your success. And I can say that, that bold statement, because everything that we do starts with a thought. Every single thing we do starts with a thought. And the best know that everything starts with a thought, so they master their thinking patterns. But the thing is, is that negativity can be natural and, and uh, normal. And what I mean by that is our mind can tend to go to the negative instead of the positive. But the best know to take control of that. And did you know that only 20% of us have our mind working for us? Only 20%. And what I hope for you is that you are among the 20% that is letting your brain working for you. So how do you do that? The first step in allowing your brain to work for you is self-awareness. And I think self-awareness is when we are a witness, like a silent witness to our thoughts, that gives us power. When we recognize what we're thinking, we can work to address it. Once you notice it, the next thing you can do is you can recognize that, you know what, it's just a thought, and you can laugh it off. And you can say, Psh, that was so silly, I don't even need to believe that. And another thing that you can do after you recognize this as a thought, is you can counter it. And what I mean by that is you can provide yourself evidence on why that thought is not accurate. Because our mind can easily go to irrational thinking patterns, but the best, the most successful recognize that positive thoughts at all times is not possible. But the key is, is that addressing it is really important. So let me give you an example of how I use it this week. So I'm super duper stoked because this Saturday, I'm running grandma's marathon. This is my 11th marathon, but my first one with my husband. So it's the first marathon that he's ever ran. And I've been training for this for several months, just like I do with the other marathons that I run. Um, but this week during what's called the taper, and that's when you start cutting back your miles um, and during the taper, your mind can kind of um, take it, you know, to kind of like do its own thing. <laughs> and so I was running and uh, I started thinking, oh my gosh, I'm going to crash and burn a grandma's. Like, this is not going to be my race. And I started imagining myself actually hitting the wall at mile 20. And I could have easily let that go for several miles, maybe even several days. But the key is, is that, gosh, I recognize that is not helpful. And I laughed it off. I was like, Sindra, seriously? You don't even have to believe that. That's so silly. And then what I did is I provided myself evidence. And I said, you know what? Remember that 20 mile run that you just crushed with your friend Jim? Right, so I gave myself evidence. I imagined myself finishing that 20 mile run strong. You might not be a marathoner. But the key is, is that we can use this in so many different areas of our life. If you're a business leader or entrepreneur or an athlete, you can use these tools and traits to improve your happiness, to improve your success, and to improve your daily performance. So today, I encourage you to make it a top priority to allow your brain to work for you, to work for you, so the key is to recognizing when it's not and then addressing it. Because the best, the most successful athletes, Olympic athletes, CEOs, know 
that this is a daily process of mastering your thoughts so that you can have more happiness and more success because your brain is this incredibly beautiful thing and when you use it in a way that helps you, you can do incredibly beautiful things with it. So thank you so much for joining me. I encourage you to comment below or shoot me an email at syndra at syndracampoff.com. I personally reply to all my emails. And I encourage you to reply with this. Tell us how you have addressed that negative voice inside your head. So comment below, shoot me an email. And I'd also encourage you to go to syndracampoff.com where you can download a super cool, colorful download of all the top 10 traits of high performers. So thank you so much for joining me. Make it an outstanding, incredible week and be mentally strong.